Truth is an absolute standard by which reality is measured. There are two answers to every question. God's answer and everybody else's and everybody else is wrong. God has spoken and he has not stuttered. But what we have today far too much of are pulpits who have acquiesced to the culture rather than declaring the truth, rather than declaring what God says about the relevant contemporary issues that we face because he has not, because he has not apologized for his truth. Today, unfortunately, the Bible is treated far too often like the Queen of England. When she's in town, the flag is one height. When she's out of town, the flag is another height. When her caravan comes down the streets of London, they pull over. The Queen of England has high honor. She just has no authority. She makes no rules. She makes no laws, but she gets plenty of prestige. For far too many people today and in far too many pulpits, the word of God is held in high honor. It just has no authority. It doesn't get to make the final decisions about life, about gender, about marriage, about divorce, about culture, about race, as though God has been silent. If you came to me and said, Tony Evans, my life is falling apart. I would find out what is the issue in your life. I would go to the relevant scriptures related to that issue. I would give you practical steps to apply that truth to your personal situation. I would then ask the Holy Spirit to bless your obedience to the truth to empower the word to work in your personal experience. If you brought to me your marriage and said, Tony Evans, our marriage is falling apart. I would find out what the issues were in your marriage, get the appropriate scriptures relevant to that issue, get practical steps to apply that issue to your situation, ask the Holy Spirit to empower your obedience to the word, to have the word work in healing your home. If you came to me as a pastor and with your deacons and said, our church is falling apart, I would take the same book I use for the individual, the same book I use for the marriage, find out what the issues are in the church, give the biblical instructions related to those issues, practical steps to apply the biblical issues related for the solution to that problem as the Holy Spirit to empower your obedience to bring the experience of God's truth to reality in your life. But what would you do if it was the president bringing the Congress? Well, what you don't do is change books. And far too often people have changed books. 